works. And you see this is uh, a prototype where we've actually bent the edge a little bit. Uh, this is one that actually has a bit more of a dish shape to it. You can see there's, there's some contour in there. Okay, and that's four inch? Uh, yeah, it looks like about four inch, maybe a little bit more. Uh, I think this one uh, just has a uh, simple, uh, oh, this one's actually a dish as well, uh, but it's got a it's got a slot in this one. Right. So these are just some, some future design options. Uh, and what to do is if you take that ball and you uh, press on the target, uh, you can break it. Right? And so it didn't take much, right? So you can also um, you can also chemically temper soda on, okay, and it will impart strength as you'll see if you try to break that one, it'll give a little bit more resistance. Again, same thickness, same abrasion pattern. Yeah, that was hard to do. Uh huh. And so now this is the Gorilla Glass, right? This is ours, same thickness, 1.1. Uh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Take two. Uh, this is the Gorilla Glass, same sort of thing. Uh, again, you get that deeper compressive layer, which makes it more resistant to uh, damage. Yeah. And you can press and press and press. Actually, I've been going to a few of these, and we've had one or two people that could, but it's really tough to do. Can I try it real quick? Yeah, go right ahead. Are you seeing that I'm strong? I, I just want to try it for our readers. <laughs> oh, okay, now that's... Did you, did you scratch it, though? No, that's just... So we, we have to put the plastic on it in case it does, you know, obviously... Uh, shattered, right, right, right. We right, wouldn't right. want anybody to cut themselves. But believe me, there's there's nothing on the surface. Can you, can you talk about the technology behind it one more time for me? Sure. Yeah, I can. Uh, so uh, basically what we have is um, an alkali aluminosilicate glass. And um, the alkali is uh, means that it has sodium in it. And so the way we make it strong, we put this glass in a salt bath, and it leaches out the sodium. And we replace it with potassium. Potassium being a bigger molecule, when the glass cools, it sets up a compressive layer on the surface. And that compressive layer is what makes the glass very damage resistant. CD space is uh, sets are going to this edge lit uh, sort of look, which means they're getting thinner. Uh, and as they get thinner, uh, one of the ways that um, brands could differentiate their models is by putting sort of this edge-to-edge -edge sleek um, design out there in the marketplace. And when they do that, uh, they don't want to put a very thick uh, substrate on the front. Uh, they want to put something very thin, and that's what you get with Gorilla Glass. And uh, so this will be on a TV uh, in models coming up and printing on the back of Gorilla Glass. Mm. And so, of course, you can see through it. It's optically very clear, and uh, you can make a lot of different designs. Designs, right? You could imagine maybe on the back of um, a laptop, uh, you'd have still the scratch resistance of Gorilla Glass, uh, but you could have some very unique uh, styles that brands could uh, put on there to differentiate their product, or maybe even potentially consumers could customize.